.NET MAUI is finally here. We have waited for a long time, but now we have a general release of .NET MAUI. And in this video I will show you how to get started. So tune in! So what is .NET MAUI? You may be thinking about an island at Hawaii. Yeah, that's true. But right now we don't talking about that. We're talking about .NET Multiplatform Application GUI, a framework for building apps for mobile and desktop. And the target platforms are Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. So is .NET MAUI something completely new? Yes and no, because .NET MAUI is also the next generation of Xamarin Forms. Could have been Xamarin Forms 6.0, but there are so many changes. A complete rewrite of the architecture, for example. So that is the reason why they changed the name. And also, of course, they want to align it better with .NET because the Xamarin brand is not there anymore. Xamarin iOS is iOS for .NET 6, for example. Android, we have .NET 6 Android, yeah. And you understand what I mean. So, what is .NET MAUI? As I said, it supports iOS, Mac OS, and Windows. It's using .NET 6. The Xamarin platforms are still using the mono version of .NET, but .NET MAUI are using .NET 6. One big change that they talked about from the beginning is that we have a single project in Visual Studio for all the platforms. That means that we don't have to have one project for Android, one for iOS, one for Mac OS, one for Windows, for example. So we can have one shared project and then we can have folders for platform specific content instead. And as I said, we also have improved architecture. The render layer are replaced by a handle layer that handles the mapping between the native platforms and the abstraction that .NET MAUI offers to developers. I will show you more about that later. So let's see how single project can look. Here I have a screenshot from Visual Studio on one of my projects that's called Visual Service Bus. It was a project that I worked with building a Service Bus Explorer for uh, all those platforms with .NET MAUI. I'm not done with that yet, but I will probably add it as an open source project on my GitHub when I feel fine with doing that. But here we can see we have a platforms folder and we have a Andro with an Android folder, an iOS folder, and a Mac Catalyst and a Windows folder. Mac Catalyst is what .NET MAUI are using for Mac apps. So if we look at the Xamarin Forms architecture, it can look like this. This is an example of the button control. Then we have a Xamarin Forms button control that are an abstraction layer with some properties and whatever you can do with the button. And then we have a button renderer that maps those properties to a native button. But with .NET MAUI, this has changed a bit. The concept are more or less the same, but there are a lot of improvements here. For example, we instead using iButton interface. So the button handler don't know about the actual button. It just know about the iButton interface. And that means that you can have, if you want in future, different versions of iButton. For example, we have the SAML button that is in the package right now. Comet, an open source framework, can have their own button. And if you want to have a Blazor button, if you want Blazor syntax, with .NET MAUI we can have a Blazor button without changing the handlers. But what the handler are doing is that they're mapping this to the native button. So even with .NET MAUI we get a UI button for iOS, for example, and a button for Android. You may have also heard about Blazor Hybrid, and this is not what I talked about when I talked about the Blazor button. That's more about bringing Blazor syntax to the Maui platform, exactly as the experimental project that was called Mobile Blazor Bindings did. But this is not what Blazor Hybrid is. But then you maybe will ask, yeah, Blazor offers web, and you have a syntax like this with HTML, CSS, yeah, 
Yeah, that's true. But with the .NET MAUI Blazor, or whatever you want to call it, because Microsoft have called it different things uh, when they talked about it for, for, for a while. It was Blazor Desktop, it's Blazor Hybrid MAUI, or Hybrid Blazor Native, yeah. But let's call it MAUI Blazor Hybrid or MAUI Blazor. So what is that? Yeah, we can say it like the Electron for .NET. It makes it possible to take your web code and bring it to a native app without having a server or running it in WebAssembly. That means that you can combine the native UI with a web UI. And you still have native access because it's running in the native process. And you can use this in some forms, .NET MAUI, WinForms, or even in VPF. So the component that makes this possible is the Blazor WebView. And that uses the WebView of each platform. If you compare it to Electron, for example, we have a le less footprint with the MAUI Blazor because uh, they, we don't ship the Chrome runtime together with the MAUI. So we instead using what the platforms have. And I think that is a good thing. And this also makes it possible to share content between your web applications and your native applications because you can bring in your Blazor components into this Blazor web view and you can embed it into your MAUI app. You can use it like the whole website in a MAUI app if you want, but you can also use small pieces, just if few small controls, for example, you can have a, a graph. If you have some, you visualize with the graph on your web application that not are available in .NET MAUI, you can use that, just that component in a Blazor web view together with your native content. And I think that is pretty powerful. In upcoming videos, I will show you both how to use MAUI with the native components and how you can use Blazor web view to build a native app. And now let's dive in and create an app with .NET MAUI. Now I have open Visual Studio for Mac. Visual Studio for Mac is in preview 2022 if you want to use it for .NET MAUI. We have a stable release of Visual Studio 2022 for Mac now, but that one is not supporting Mac. But if you want, you can have them side by side, the stable version and the preview version. But I am using the preview version right now with support for .NET MAUI. And of course you can use Visual Studio on Windows as well. And there you can use the stable version. Okay, so let's create a new MAUI application. So new. And here we get got all the templates, my recent use templates. And but if we go to multi-platform here, we can see all the available .NET MAUI templates and also the Xamarin Forms templates, of course, because you can still use Xamarin Forms to build your apps. And Xamarin Forms will be supported for one more year. So, the options you have is that you can build a .NET MAUI app, a .NET MAUI Blazor app, and a .NET MAUI class library. But right now we want to build an app, and in this first version we don't want to have any Blazor content. You can add that yourself later, of course. So let's use the .NET MAUI app template. Give the project a name, a demo app maybe. for the default options. Okay, now we have created the project. You can see here that we have only one single project. We have the platforms folder with all the platforms, also Tyson here. Tyson is a platform supported by Samsung. So you can have that by default too. That's good if you want to build an application for your TV, for example. But then we have Mac Catalyst, we have the info peel list, app delegates, the same for iOS. On Android, we have the manifest file, we have the main activity, the main application, and all the native stuff that you can see that using the Android namespaces here. This is probably red because I have not built it yet. Okay, so let's see if we can run this. So right now to run this, we cannot select a startup project as we did with Xamarin Forms. Now we have to select what platform we want to run it for up here instead. So here we have the option to run it on my Mac, all the iOS simulators. If I had my phone connected or at least the correct settings, I could also deploy to my phone. But let's try to 
deploy it to Mac first. Hit run and wait for it to build. It will always take a little bit of time the first time, but the second time and the other times it will be faster. Okay, so here is our .NET MAUI app running on Mac. Okay, it's not a very fancy app, it's a standard um, .NET template with a counter and a button. Dun, 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 dun. You can sit here and click if you think that is fun. I don't, so let's close it. Le let's continue ta to take a look at what we have here created by the default template. So they opened main page.saml for us, so let's take a look at that. Here we have a scroll view. Like in summary forms, we need a scroll view if you want to scroll any view. But here is something new. We have a vertical stack layout. In summary forms, you have a stack layout, but then you had to set orientation to horizontal or vertical. Uh, in .NET MAUI, we have a vertical stack layout and a horizontal stack layout as different controls. But they are basically the same. Here we can also see something new for .NET MAUI, that they have added some more stuff for um, accessibility. So here we can set the description to this image by using semantic properties dot description. And heading level is also possible to set to level one, level two, for example. And that's good because that makes your apps more accessible for everyone. So I highly recommend you to use this. And it's great that we have that in .NET MAUI by default. So we can go here, we can open the app.saml. This is more or less like with some reforms, we can add your styles here. So you have your research dictionaries that you can merge with colors and styles. Uh, yeah. And we have here set the main page to app shell because you can use some reforms shell. But of course it's not named some reforms shell right now. It's named just shell or Maui shell. So we can up open the app shell file and here we can see that we have a shell content. I will deep dive into shell more in later videos so make sure to subscribe so don't, you don't miss that. And then we have the main page that we already looked at and then we have one new great stuff. This MAUI program where you can use MAUI to set up everything you need when you have it like it's like a startup.cs in your .NET web API app for example. So here we can add stuff to for dependent set up set up stuff for dependency in injection for example you can use builder dot services and here you can add a singleton or a trench cent if you want to. So that's great to have that built in in .NET MAUI. So you don't need to add other external libraries. I used to use Autofuck, for example, or Tiny IOC, but now you can use the Microsoft dependency injection stuff. And I think that is great because it's easier for new developers to get started with that. And here you can also use some configure fonts to add your fonts to the application, the name of the file and an alias for it. So that's great. You can. Another interesting thing with .maui is that you can have shared resources like images as you can see here in the shared folder. These images will be shared between all the platforms so you don't have to add an image for iOS, for Android, iOS. Everything is shared and you can also use SVG files. That's something new with .maui. It was not supported out of the box with Xamarin Forms. And also app icon can be shared and even you can share the splash screen. So I will show you how to set up that. You will do that in the csproj file. So we can open here, you can see that here we have the app icon, Maui icon, and here we have the SVG file, and we also have a foreground file, and this is to make the app icons look great on Android also. And here we have the splash screen, what icon it will be in the middle, uh, the color and some base size. So that makes it possible to don't have to work with all those platform specific stuff if you don't want to. Of course you can do that. If you want something special for iOS, you can do that. Just add the stuff to the platforms folder and it will be picked up by the platform. And how to do that is that it work with uh, conditional compiling or multi-targeted 
projects. So here you can see that we have specified multiple targets. We have .NET 6 Android, .NET 6 iOS, .NET 6 Mac Catalyst. And we also have Windows that will be added here if we run this on a Windows computer. And that are not what we do right now. So it will not be possible to select Windows here. So this was a short introduction to .NET MAUI. In upcoming videos I will deep dive into more code and coding, both native apps and Blazor hybrid apps. So make sure to like this video, subscribe, add a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.